this rail pavilion at the famous dinner architecture land yeah. of milk and honey. To have the curator? Maybe I. Yeah, one of the curator? If you want, yes. To leave it or? No. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. So, what is the idea of uh, having the animals as a protagonist in the pavilion? Yes, yeah, so, so our exhibition focuses on animals and landscape in the land of milk and honey. Um, we examined through the animals the far-reaching changes that land and landscape had in the territory of, uh, of, of, of the land of milk and honey and through powers of uh, politics and uh, religion and technology. Instead of uh, examining the land through people and uh, through their conflicts, which are uh, pretty uh, deep and, uh, and sometimes feel hopeless, we look at these changes through animals. So we examine habitats, we examine uh, the, the bodies of animals and regulations, and we, ex and we see that through the great changes in the 20th century and powers of, of, uh, of politics, war, and uh, technology, the whole land has changed. So, um, so some of our, our stories, our animal stories, are quite pessimistic and, and shows how the human intervention interferes with natural ways of life and, and habitats, animals and plants. Um, but we have a few more optimistic uh, stories that show that life can always uh, thrive and uh, recover. And we see it also as the reality of the animals and the landscapes, but also as a metaphor or an, an allegory for the human condition and for the conflicts in our, our land, which we hope to, to resolve and to be more, to be exclusive and, um, and to, um, and to um, succeed in thriving and learning how to live together through our conflicts.